Welcome to Animatology Practical Lecture. Today we are going to look at morphological identification of nematodes belonging to genus Platylenchus by using a microscope. But before we could start off our practical exercise, let's start with a brief recap of the different diagnostic features of nematodes belonging to this genus. These features include the lip region which is low and slightly offset with around 2 to 3 rings depending on the species. Their stylet is robust and relatively short with round basal knobs. They also have a mastra median bulb within the pharyngeal region and a ventral overlap of the pharyngeal gland with the intestines. In case of the females, these nematodes have a monodelific reproductive system with vulva located 70-80% of the body from the anterior end. With this simple brief recap, let's now start off with our practical exercise. Let's start by putting our nematode specimen in the focus. And what you are seeing right now is the rip region of this nematode. This rip region is low and you can also see that it is slightly offset. If we manage to get a higher magnification, we shall also see the rings within this rip region. Within this same field, we are also seeing the robust and relatively short stylet of this nematode, which also has round basal nodes. Moving forward posteriorly, this is part of the pharyngeal region of this nematode. And this is the muscular median bulb, which is a typical feature for this genus. Furthermore, as we move towards the intestines of this nematode, you can clearly see that there is an overlap of the pharyngeal gland with the intestines. This pharyngeal gland ventral overlaps with the intestines. As we continue moving posteriorly, we come across part of the female monodelific reproductive system of this nematode. This reproductive system has one branch which stretches towards the anterior side, starting from the vulva. So this is the vulva of this nematode. And it is located more posteriorly at around 70-80% to 80 of the body. As we come to the posterior end, this is the tail of this nematode. And you can clearly see that it is substrate equal to conoid shape which is also a typical feature of female nematodes within this genus. From this microscopy exercise, we have managed to see some of the diagnostic features of genus Platylenchus. Thank you for watching and remember to check our YouTube channel for more videos of other genera.